cybersecurity is top of mind from an audit committee's vantage point. Uh, we see in the paper, we hear about in different uh, venues that there have been attacks out in the public there. Um, they're obviously noteworthy events. The question is always asked, what's happened? Why has it happened? What could have been done? What should have been done? This is definitely a topic that's top of mind. It's moved out of the really technology arena and into the business arena. Number one, we're dealing with a different type of adversary, a different type of individual who may want to use and monetize the information that our companies possess. They're highly organized, uh, they're very rigorous in their pursuits, and they know exactly what they're going after. We've moved from companies being targets of opportunities to targets of choice. Uh, number two, our business is changing. We're thinking more globally. We're relying more and more on information and analytics to help make decisions, which means we're relying much more on information to help us guide our business. And the way we're using that information is changing. We're relying on a global set of business partners to help us execute our businesses, all of which require us to rethink our approach to controlling those activities. I see it as really proactive protection, detective, and then remediation. And really, you know, proactive uh, work is very, I guess, critical to protecting and trying to stop it, but recognizing you're not going to stop everything. Uh, something's going to get in. Really, our work now becomes much more detective. We have malware. We know it's in our environment. How do we detect it and remediate it quickly, and how do we make sure we know what transpired and what we might have lost? The most common question I get particularly from board members and from executive management, is they want to know, how do I know that my company or my organization is doing the right thing and doing enough? And I would say, just in general, the biggest focus of that has been solely looking at the technology sphere. Do we have the right monitoring technology or the right preventive technology in place? Uh, the reports or KPIs might be how many attacks we saw over the last month or, or period of time, which are all interesting metrics, but we believe there's a holistic view that should be considered. And we've identified six key themes that uh, if I was a leader, a board member, an audit committee member, I would want my management to report on. You see them on the slide here. It really starts with leadership and governance. Do we know who really inside the organization, both directly and as part of a support group, is responsible? And if it's just somebody within the IT organization, or even just within the risk organization, that's probably not enough. This impacts every facet of the business. If I think about how my business is gonna change, how is operations involved in that conversation? If I think about the legal and regulatory aspect, how is legal reference in that organization? If I think about the need for additional transparency of control, how is internal audit involved in that conversation? So that governance structure and the policies and procedures that we develop should be much wider spread than just a component of the technology environment inside my organization. I think the second point, uh, and Dennis alluded to it very well, is the human factors. At the end of the day, it's how we train and empower our workforce, both our, our employees and those additional third parties we rely upon. They have responsibility over that data and they need to make sure that they understand what their responsibilities are to protect it. Um, the third is really information risk management in and of itself. We talked a lot about this broad nature of information. We've got intellectual property that really provides us competitive advantage. We've got operational data that we make business decisions off of every day. We've got certain components of strategic information such as mergers, acquisitions, or, or business strategies that again allude to our competitive advantage. And we've got issues of uh, unreleased financial statements that can be used to move uh, m markets if I had information disclosed before they were publicly made available. Do we know where all these pockets of information are? Do we know, to Dennis's point, who has access to that information? I think the fourth component you see on the screen is really the business continuity aspect. It's no longer a situation of will I have an incident? or a breach, it's a matter of when will I have that incident breach and what will I do about it? How will I react to that? 
How will I communicate both internally and external to all the stakeholders I need to? What will I disclose? Who would I integrate with? If I know that the, it's the attack or the disclosure is ongoing, do I stop my business for a period of time until I get it remediated? These are decisions that you really don't want to deal with as you're going through it. You want to think about it in advance. You should plan for a breach. You should know how to notify them. You should know how an IT breach can become an incident, and then the incident gets to be a crisis management. And you need to be able to effectively bring in all the different players at that different layers. Because if you have a tar target breach, it's an IT breach at first, but you better get it up to the incident and better get it to the crisis team that senior management and legal and corporate communications has knowledge of it and can start working with you to remediate that issue. Because it's not just an IT issue. <coughs> then becomes a reputation financial issue to you. Um, the fifth one here is the operation and technology controls. As I said, that's probably the, the most detailed component. That's uh, the facet that's probably most reported on today. What controls do we have in our environment? What are the operational controls we rely upon and how do we monitor those? And then finally, legal and compliance. As we've indicated, the world's changing every day. We're dealing with new laws, new requirements, both US and global, and we need to stay on top of that to make sure that what we're doing with the data we collect on behalf of our customers or our agents, our business partners, so we're protecting that uh, in alignment to our legal obligations. All data is not equal, and you, you need to understand the value of the, you know, the information. Second, uh, people risk. We talked a little bit about it. I mean, established policies and procedures and folks within the organization actually adhering to those. Next one, uh, cyber incident reports to monitor cyber attacks and trends. The response plan, obviously moving quickly, is really, really important. And then lastly, the assessments. Uh, it's so important to understand the component elements, the threat, how we think about it, how the supply chain fits in, certainly not a once a year check the box exercise, but rather something that living and, and, and obviously learning as incidents can and do occur.